Hey guys, welcome back to another All Secrets video. Um, there are three secrets in this level. So first of all, just just get rid of the wolves. They're just such a pain in the bum. Just, just get rid of them. Shoot them up. Okay, so next thing you want to do is you want to head straight to this lovely little hot tub area, swimming pool, and just just dive in, just dive in. When you get to the bottom, swim down, uh, take a right, and then swim slightly up, and then head left. And behind this pillar should be a lovely little pulley switch for you. Now, pulling this opens a door, um, which you have to go to from going basically back where you came and go all the way to the end. And once you're there, take the left and go up. It is pretty easy. And you come into this gorgeous, gorgeous swimming pool room. It's a lovely room. So there you go. First secret, you got some um, Mars bars. <laughs> no, they're, they're Magnum clips. Though, I think she really wishes it was Mars Bars. And you get a little med pack. Now, for the next secret, you have to basically swim back to where you just was. Uh, where you just were, sorry. Blah, I can't word. <laughs> swim all the way back. And instead of going left, go right. And you will see there's like a really light wall, pillar in the corner. And guess what? Another pulley switch. Now you just pull that. Just do it. Pull it. There you go. See? And then swim up to the top. And this is secret number two up here. Um, there's just a med kit in this area. Unless I might have missed one I hidden amongst the pots, probably. I don't know. But that's the second one. So next what you gotta do is get um, get the key to go into the next area. To do that you have to jump into this room. Now there is a pickup over there which I will show you how to get. It's not a secret but you wanna do just, just jump down. Try not to trigger the, the floor if you have to because there is a way to make this, this a bit quicker getting over uh, getting as quick as you can back to the door. So pull the block out. Um, if you want to get the little med pack, you could you could just pull it, jump up, like I'm doing. And while I was playing this, I noticed how much Lara really loves this block. She can't stop staring at it. She's infatuated by this block. <laughs> Come on, Lara. So there you go. There's a pickup. It's not a secret, but a lot of people, you know, see it. They, they run across the, the things. And actually, you could just use the block. And there's an easier way of actually getting out of this room if you just move the block to this position. And you will see what I mean later on. But first of all, you need to go into the room and collect the skeleton-looking key and some other key... You just want to collect all the keys. Anything that shines, just pick it up, use it, take it with you. You know, Lara is a magpie, quite frankly, in this level. Oh, it's an idol. My bad. It's not even a key. <laughs> so run back into that room and jump on that block. Now, there's a nice little trick you can do here. You can actually walk up to the end of the block and pull yourself up. And the floor does not actually do anything until you pull yourself at the top so you can actually just jump back where you came from easy right so already we've got the two secrets the last secret is once more at the end of the level um so so yes just enjoy
Man, this music is the bomb. I loved this music in this game. Especially this song. So here you can, instead of just going around and doing the whole gravel thing again, you could just jump up here. It might take a while just to kind of position yourself, but it's pretty easy once you get to know how to do it. And it saves you quite a bit of faff. And we do not like faff. We're not having any faff here. Now don't make the mistake of walking off the edge, guys, please don't do that. I've done that many times, <laughs> where I've kind of forgotten what I was doing, forgotten what side, and I've just jumped off and, and just squished Lara's legs. So for the next secret, we really need to push this button because this actually opens the end door. But for the next secret, first of all, we need to take out this bear. And this bear was causing me a little bit of hassle. And every time I play this, he he decides to do this to me. Um, again, I decided to name him Lord Barrington. Sometimes I, I changed his name to Pooh Bear. Um, but he's just taunting me at this point. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to dangle my, my little legs and hopefully he can smell them. <laughs> now really, I need him to run the other way so I can shoot him and get rid of him. Once he's gone, we can move on. And there we go. So onto the last secret. So what you want to do is run up the stairs uh, where he went. And when you get to the top, you want to take a right. Right at the top, like here. You want to go right and there's like a little corner. And actually it's quite sneaky because you probably won't be able to see it. Um, but there's a room here. And just be careful of dropping down. I've done that before where I've just jumped off. You can die from that. And you get some lovely little Uzi clips. Followed by like a golem face on the floor. And then, whoops. <laughs> and then all you have to do is just put the idol in the door and run through. And that is the end of the level, folks. Pretty simple, right? There we go. Three out of three. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, from your friendly neighborhood, Moogle. Goodbye.